Something other than the weather. It is Brew Day, sponsored by the Crosstown Brew Down. This is a day where we get to find out more about local brews here in town. And today we welcome Jordan from Bismarck Brewing. Thank you so much for being here, Jordan. Thanks for having me. Okay, you brought a cranberry limeade sour, which sounds really good. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us what goes into making that. Uh, it's actually a cherry limeade sour. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry <laughs> about uh, that. Yeah, so we. We actually used 100 pounds of local cherries. They uh, came from a little orchard up north uh, called Stone Cottage Orchards. And we bought a bunch of cherries from him last summer, and then there are 50 pounds this year. So we had 100 pounds total. And uh, we used fresh lime zest and fresh lime juice as well to balance it out for the cherry limeade. So it was just something that we wanted to make a new, new sour, because we always have the cranberry blood orange and that's always a good seller, but we wanted some, another option. And the name, though, it was the cherry limeade Chimera? Chimera, yeah. Chimera? That's, that's our base sour. That's the name of our base sour that we fruit. So. And I was asking him, did he name it after the running back for <laughs> the Saints? And he said no, because it's a mythical name. Yeah, it's a Greek mythological creature. So oh. it's, the, it's spelled a K, so it's the Greek spelling as well. Oh, man. Yeah. It's a three-headed beast. That's what it is. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't <laughs> taste like a three-headed beast. Uh, Jordan, I got a question. So sours are relatively new, I think, right? This is, is this a trend of a beer? Is it going to come and go? What's your opinion? Uh, sours, yeah, sours here in North Dakota are a fairly new thing. We always kind of, you know, behind the times as far as beer trends go. Uh, they kind of start from the coast and comes inward. So, yeah, sours here, but they're huge. It's um, our cranberry blood orange is our best selling beer by far now, so we can't make enough of it. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it seems like uh, it's hitting its peak right now because they're so hot right now, yeah. as some might say. Um, what do you like about this one, Jordan, and the cherry flavor maybe that goes along with it? Uh, it I like that we got to use local fruit because that's the first time we've actually done that on a full batch. We've done small batch stuff with local fruit and local. Uh, Vendors, but yeah, this is the first time we've actually been able to make a full batch, and yeah, and this it turned out really, really tart because it's uh, they're pie cherries, so they're the tart small cherries, and so yeah, I, I like it because it's really, really tart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Jordan, when you're making a new beer, are you so good that you can just say, hmm, I think I can put this and that, and it's going to turn out great, or is this a real work in progress all the time? Uh. Most of them I've been pretty lucky. <laughs> so he's like, AKA, I'm really humble. And I was going to say, very good. Most There's of them I've been pretty lucky. <laughs> we've, we've done some small batch, like test batches of things, you know, to see if it'll go over well, see how it works. But for the most part, we've just been like, eh, let's go for it and <laughs> do a full batch. And then it's a gamble on, you know, trying to sell 500 gallons of beer. So A full batch is 500 gallons? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Little more than luck that's involved <laughs> in that. Amber, yeah. I wanted to hear from you a little bit. What did you think? I really liked it. I thought it was uh, sweeter, uh, kind of a sweeter. Wait, I did get the tart, like mm -hmm. what you were saying, but it was a kind of a sweet uh, sour beer, which I, I hadn't had in a while. And I, I really liked it because it reminded me of something I would have when it's really warm outside. Mm -hmm. Of course, heading into Labor Day with it being warm. Do you anticipate selling a lot more this weekend with the warmer weather? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've, and we only put it on about a week ago, and we've, uh, We've already sold two kegs full. So. Wow. How much is in a keg? How many gallons? Uh, we have half barrels and six barrels. A half barrel is 15 and a half gallons, and a six barrel is five gallons. So you have a, you have a lot of kegs to sell to, to sell out of a, of oh, a yeah. batch. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Must be good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jordan, for your time today. Thank you. This has been Brew Day, sponsored by the Crosstown Brewdown. And if you'd like to sample the brew for yourself, head over to 1100 Canada Avenue, Suite 1, Bismarck Brewing. Mm -hmm. And coming up next, classes are back in full swing. Maybe you notice your child has uh, some of the back to school blues. Uh, but what if more than just being nervous about the school year? Yeah, very possible. Now, Val from